Ben here with an odd smile. I just want to make sure it's working. There we go. All right. Okay. Hi, this is Monica and Lindy from Huckleberry Mountain Botanical School of Herbalism. Um, neither one of us, I, we have not felt great, and so I'm we, exhausted. Yeah, we're really tired for no reason too. We're trying not to be exhausted. Tonight we're going to be making rose hip fruit leather. I have had to totally change. Hi, Sean. Hi, Kana. Totally <sighs> and utterly change the recipe because I accidentally I was running low on regular rose hips. And I ordered them, um, and then they came and they're powdered. So we we're did, working with powder. We did get the beginning right. I think we get it right more often because we did lots of filming. Yes, we, we did lots of filming yesterday. yesterday. And we did it right now. Okay. Oh, Katie, how open. was cleaning up last night? Um, so, Mom did... Several of them. Uh -oh. that's, that's what was the problem. Uh, yeah, I, I did. It was fine. She did some dishes and then I finished it up. Yeah. And it's kind of like my alone time in the evening that I kind of like. I can listen to my music yeah. and I get to just like Hang out I and trap eat. like the cat and the hero and the dog and then the other dog. She's totally alone out here. It's her Mom time. Mom and Dad's room, and that's like my time. Yes, and sometimes it takes a long time. And then I, yeah. I text her and go like, "When are you coming in and to get Hero? Because Hero and, and her share bed." And she's like, "Oh, I'm on the trampoline. Share I'll room. be up in a minute." And oh, yeah, share room. Okay. He has his own bed technically, but he doesn't use it. So. Yeah, I know. All right. Anyway, but I'm fine with cleaning as long as like she can be left it's alone. It's my it's my own space. Yeah. Yes. Okay, guys. So. I am gonna basically I'm gonna be giving you two different recipes. This one that we're doing tonight, which I literally just made on the fly. I, I haven't tried it. We'll see. Hi Shamra. Should be tasty. Hi Shamra. And then the other one um, I will share, which you'll be using use the actual rose hips and honey and all of that. But doesn't matter. Today I I'm using I've got how many medjool dates did I say? Seven. Seven. Seven medjool dates yeah. in here. I'm gonna add two cups of applesauce. I'm gonna blend this up, and the only reason why I'm using the medjool dates is because this is unsweetened applesauce, and honestly, this is gonna make it so that we can eat it right now on the Whole30, because we're not doing any any sweetener at all, not just sugar, but also honey and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Here we go, we're gonna blend. I always feel bad about this. It's like right in front of this microphone, it's like Ugh! All right, here we go. Ah! try it again. I'm just reducing the amount we've got going on here. All right. Well, it's a home invader. It's going to be on live, so. <laughs> you will all be caught. witnesses. Yeah. You got, okay. We got mail. Yeah, I don't know what we got. It can't it's be It's weird. Mail. Maybe. Because there's no delivery. I, I guess, guess some. Maybe. Some oh, delivery. is here now. All right, and and crazy watching, chaos is happening. He's watching our live on the phone. Oh my word. Okay. This is awesome. <laughs> yes, crazy's happening. No, give the phone to dad. No, crazy. All right. So I it got a lot of- package. It was a package. A lot of this out of here. Yeah, it's weird. Crazy. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys. Fun stuff. 
I was like, oh, this is going to be the easiest. And what? The blender? I, sh I say... smaller one of these ah. to accommodate smaller things. Unless we're fine with chunks. Yeah. <laughs> you guys do not do what I just did. Oh my word. So yeah. Can we need a Oh, I know. We can Follow this small. recipe, but if you're going to add these medjool dates, then blend them in advance before you add the sauce. We should sauce. move it into this. Did that work, do you think? <laughs> I'm getting scared. Control <laughs> chaos. Dad commented. It doesn't it's not control. It's not really control. This isn't control right now. <laughs> we should move this. This is pretty chaos. Like, <laughs> yeah. Luckily, we need to move it. it. I know. Yeah. You guys, if you've been on our lives before, you have seen me, like, Deuce. slurp up fizzy yeah. stuff from my table. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing perfect happening around here. Oh, that oh, is for it. show. It's not the right plug. All right. So, well, let's plug it in back there. Okay. And let me just hand it to you, and you can blend it. Goodness. We are going to make this happen. Why don't you, did you go, go over some of the benefits of what we're making? Shimmer says, it's great TV. <laughs> Glad we can entertain. Oh, my word. Seriously. Maybe we shouldn't do these when we're tired. I don't know. Truly says, I don't know if that ninja will work. It has little blades. I know. It has tiny blades, and that's uh, yeah. what we will see. Which is why we weren't going to use it in the first place. Well, you know, the other thing that would be better is Blend our actual tech. blender, our blend tech. I know, but I don't know where that is. And it's, I think it's down there, I think. Or is it down there? It's down there. Oh, I yeah. have to move the entire set. In yeah, order you're to right. Get down there. You're right. Okay. We're going to try this. So, you know, you're, you're all witnesses here. And Just follow the original recipe. The, ori the original, well, I've never made this before because I made it up. So, oh, that is true. Because rose hip came in, so I was like, huh, uh, rose hip powder. So, but either way, blend your medjool dates first, then slowly add a little bit of Sorry. the applesauce, and then add all the applesauce and the rose hip powder. We're going to try this. Let's go. We could put more applesauce in there. On a plus side, you got to hear how cool our doorbell is. Yeah. Or is that what it's called? Doorbell. The doorbell, yes. yes, that's what it's called. Are we really that tired? I think we are. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, we make fruit leather often, but we don't, haven't made this specific this recipe. This specific, yeah. A lot of times we'll take fresh fruit and blend it into like a smoothie and then. Yeah, I, I do fresh fruit and stuff. I just. This particular it's, rose hip, I even made rose hip fruit leather last year, um, but I did it differently. So, like, uh, rose and hips compote. and honey and yeah, all that. And made it more of a yeah, it's like a compote. Thing. It's supposed to be break it up, yeah. really nice and thick actually that pectin has been activated so, so we're adding the rose hip yep powder. i'm putting in a quarter cup of rose hip powder what at this pectin? point um there's pectin in apples oh and if you blend it up and it that, thickens well it's gonna thicken it because it was not blended before it's coming out like more <clears throat> like smooth applesauce oh, rather than yeah. that chunky it looks so. like baby food it does all right i put about a quarter cup a rose hip powder in here and I'm gonna have Lindy taste it cuz I'm actually in my fasting window my window is open yeah not our house windows because now I'm paranoid yeah cuz we're doing that whole 30 plus the intermittent the fasting so that has nothing to do with our windows though so ignore what I just said all right so here go ahead and taste that tell me what you think okay 
That's really good. Oh, good. All right. In fact, winner. Wait, no. It's like right on the border of having the perfect amount of rose hip powder, but possibly needing a tiny bit more. Okay, there's more in there. Stick it in there. Just gonna I, it's, we're going to be, basically, it's a generous quarter cup then. It's not quite one third, but it'll be between a quarter and one third with two cups of applesauce and seven dates. I, you know, the reason I used seven dates, you guys, wasn't like some magical number, but mm. because that's how many dates we had in the house. So I am covering my... I may have been eating them to compensate for the fact that I'm not allowed to have sugar right now. Yes. Um, I'm going ahead and covering this with some coconut oil, actually, just to keep it, it'll be easier for it to pull up. And for dehydrating fruit leather, I put mine in my Excalibur dehydrator, and I'm trying to remember what I set it to. I want to say it's 165, and it um, and I think I can let this go overnight, and I'll be able to remove it in the morning, and it'll be good to go. It shouldn't be sticky on the top, um, but if you... If you don't use stuff that has enough pectin in it, you'll end up with kind of crunchy and it'll it'll be brittle and break. Also, make sure it's not too thin, but you don't want it so thick unless you're going to make those um those delicious like bar fruit leather bars. Yeah. But I end up making kind of that thinner fruit leather. So it actually rolls. Yeah. Dad almost ate the dates earlier. Oh. That would have been bad. That would have been bad. Um and and if if it's when you touch it, it should not be sticky. But when you take it off the paper, if there's Perfect. still some sticky underneath, go ahead and turn it over and dehydrate it for another 30 minutes or so and then keep just checking on it about every half hour. All right, here we go. We're just gonna spread it out here. This should just do one sheet. Um, I don't even know if it'll cover a complete sheet. Hmm. You we'll can't just show. See. That one we can. Oh. This one. There it is. There's the sheet. Baby diarrhea. <laughs> baby diarrhea. I know. Well, a baby a baby that ate, um, like, carrots, mashed carrots. Hi, Janine. Janine who? Williams. Oh, hi, Janine. She said, hi, y'all. Plan to make fruit leather with all of my apples. Good to know. Oh, good. Yeah. And this would actually work even better with homemade um, applesauce rather than store-bought, but I didn't have homemade applesauce, so I used store-bought. So, yeah, who said baby diarrhea? They must have people. That, unsweetened, yes. Are they people that have watched us before? <laughs> I, no, I said Oh, you said baby so. diarrhea. I thought you were reading a, um, No, thing. I wasn't reading a comment. I just... All right. Just knew. Yes. There's a chunk. There's some ch Oh, well, we're going to have some chunk. A few, a, a few chunks a here. It's chunks. not a big deal. Just gonna spread this out. So you can tell we think a lot of things aren't that big of a deal. Well, if you think everything's a big deal, then you end up not doing anything. True. You know, you get kind of stuck in that planning mode. It's like, oh, I have to have everything right. Everything has to be in a row. And then you don't do anything. Yeah. And one thing I have really, like, this is too big of a chunk here. Oh, I'll eat it. <laughs> okay. Um, one thing that I have discovered with cooking or with herbs or even you know doing something new in your life is that it the mistakes don't really matter they it, it's unless someone's gonna die or you could potentially get severely injured by not being properly prepared just start just do it and try and you'd be surprised I think at how many things you can do just by trying it and sometimes it's this total screw up but if this turned out gross who cares like we you know we spent maybe 250 putting this together probably less than that and and didn't um are we know, still alive we're still alive right and it turned okay. out yeah it, and it turned out well but if it hadn't who cares big deal so we tried something and it didn't work <laughs> i don't you know does it it's it's not going to kill you Experimenting is fun. Yes. Dad says analysis paralysis. Analysis paralysis. That's sure. exactly right. You sit around so long mm -hmm. thinking about it that you know what? Someone else has that same idea. And they've, they've actually stepped out and done it. And you've been sitting there waiting for the whole situation to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. And don't wait Just for it to be. Just do it even if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Even if it could screw up and it could be 
that's what I feel about embarrassing. planting, um, having a garden, um, cooking, you know, all types of things with cooking and stuff. Yeah, who cares? I, I think the, the most I the most times that I try new recipes is usually when guests are coming over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna try this. And sometimes most of the time it has turned out really great. A couple of times it's been like, Yeah, I can't serve that. Sharon says very true, jump in. Yes, just jump in. Just do it. All right. So here Nike. is the sheet. It is not like perfectly flat or any such thing. It will now go into the dehydrator. But it will go into the dehydrator. And I know it seems kind of thick. And it, I, to me, it feels like I think, oh, I got to make it thinner because fruit leather is thin. It but as it dehydrates and that liquid goes out, it thins itself out. So don't yeah. worry about that. All right, guys. You spent a really fun adventure here with us. Don't make the mistakes I made. Learn from me. Oh um, you know, get the medjool date into a paste first and then throw in your applesauce, unsweetened applesauce. Yeah. And, and don't even throw it all in at one time. I Next time, I would do the medjool dates, make those into a paste. I would throw probably a half cup of applesauce, blend it up a little more, another half cup, blend it up a little more until it's all blended. Then I would take it out, put it in a bowl, and I would do all the rest of the stuff. Yes. But... I actually did like the texture of the applesauce fully blended like this. Did you make it like nice and fluffy? It, it, it didn't made have it fluffy and it didn't have smooth. Any of that grit left? No texture. No texture. Yeah, so that was really really nice. Which is why it looked like baby food, but like in yeah. a good way. I would highly recommend blending it. Um, otherwise, you may get some some different texture. I Julia don't know. says happy Halloween. Who? Julia. Oh, thank you, Julia. And speaking of that, I, we were trying to figure to out whether you. we should go live. Tomorrow. tomorrow or not i'm not sure because a lot of people probably have plans for the evening yeah and it's like all, no one will be here except us and let, let me know if you're going to be home and if you'll be at the live tomorrow and if, if a couple people are we're more than happy to do the live um but if not but if, if you not comment and let us know then i guess we'll just um plan to skip it yeah and i might just do a video on it and put it on youtube just do a quick video i don't know so let us know. What is what are these people she saying? She said, um, Shama says that she'll be home. Okay. Julie says I won't be on. Yeah. I okay. Well, let us know with these comments if if you come in later after we've um, finished live and whoever commented, we need to make sure to get them in the drawing. Oh yeah. That drawing is going to be happening uh, next Monday when we go live again. I did most of you just know so, Julia, you're in. So Julia needs to be on there and, and we'll be doing that drawing. We already have our couple things that we made this month set aside for the winner. So we look forward to seeing who that is. So we have Shamra, Julia, oh Janine. And I guess that is it. And let us know if you're going to be here tomorrow. If we got a couple and people, we're happy to come in and, and, and go Katie. live. And remember, if you have a phone, you can always We've, we've come in like when we're on vacation or on a out of town and Lindy's going live we're, we pull it up at like a restaurant at a restaurant or wherever yes. we happen to be Duh. so you can do that no pressure but you know if you really liked us oh hi Susan <laughs> Susan just showed up hi Susan um, yeah you you missed you're gonna have to replay because you missed a lot of the chaos that ensued yeah <laughs> in this live oh my gosh you guys so funny all right. And let us know, Susan, if you're going to be available tomorrow yeah. evening. Because if we don't have more than, you know, more than um, like how two, too many people. Uh, two or three. Two or three. Yeah, we're happy to come. That then we are going to cancel because it's Halloween. Yeah. So. I, we totally forgot. Like, other people are going to be out with their kids doing stuff and uh, going to harvest festivals and, yeah, like, and trick or treating and all that kind of stuff. So. Like, we're not going to go live on Thanksgiving. No, no. Or Christmas Eve or Christmas. Yeah. Or New Year's Eve. Those are real holidays, though. Okay. <laughs> all right, you guys. We're going to, we'll, we'll possibly see you tomorrow. If not, we'll see you next Monday. And I hope you guys all have a happy Halloween. Please stay safe and check your candy. All right? <laughs> Until next time, help and joy. Bye. Oh, and then I got to stop this one. I can't reach it. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stop streaming. <laughs> I'm just standing.